Hey everyone, it's Real Canine here. Welcome back to the Fuka and Deska show. Uh, in the last episode, we did things that don't really matter, and today we're going to do things that don't really matter. Like I've said, I don't really like this story. Let's just get it over with. Uh, after I sell a bunch of items. Super Sweet Street. They're the villains who are trying to separate Lady Torn Desco and Big Sis. Get ready to attack. Hey, I'm a villain too? What's up with that? Something smells good. <laughs> this is gonna be the ultimate sweets area with all the famous dessert shops in the netherworld. It's called Super Sweet Street. I super hope you look forward to it. <sighs> the name itself is giving me heartburn. In case things get too crazy around here, all the shops will offer a service where Big Sis Fuka doesn't have to wait in line. That only applies to Fuka? What kind of service is that? Also, we're gonna offer a generous bonus. All of the sweets here are gonna be free of charge for Big Sis Fuka! This whole place really is for Fuka. The name Big Sis Loveland is perfect for it. When this place finally opens, Lass, all of the demons in the netherworld will turn against you. You could be right, but this is awesome! Enemies or whatever, I'd do anything to receive this kind of service. Right? Desko thinks this is a fantastic idea! Super sweet street! Desko wishes she could be torn Desko's friend! Desco, not even this awesome idea can change my mind at this point. Because I've already decided to reincarnate. Geo panels and lots of them. Silence and forever counter, huh? Oh, you're back, Axel. He even got pink dragged into this. Shame on you, Axel. Ready for me? Shame on you. Let's uh Let's get rid of this uh, silence geo. Alright, now let's go to town on all the dudes. I forgot to heal from uh, the last battle. Oh. It's gonna be Big Bang Central up in all of this craziness. Maybe leveling everybody up to such a high level was a mistake. 
This isn't even interesting, it's just kind of there. My demon hat was excited! Too many counters. I hope the I hope the PSTV doesn't crash. That at least was pretty funny. That taken care of. Probably got time for one more, uh, one more stage. Assuming the cutscenes don't it. take too long. Persistent bastards! I can't let this happen. I have to do whatever it takes to send you back home. Axel's being pretty stubborn. I thought he'd just give up already. <laughs> Looks like he has something on his mind that's spurring him on. I'm sure it's something stupid. It's always something stupid. Princess, Desko just doesn't understand. Huh? What is it? Even if Big Sis Loveland is filled with all of your favorite things, you still won't change your mind? Well, I don't think so. Desko doesn't get it! Not at all! Why would you want to leave all your favorite things behind just to reincarnate? Why don't you want to live a happy life in the netherworld forever? Desko, a final boss mustn't seek easy answers. You will grow and get stronger by finding answers for yourself. As a final boss, you must do that. Bowsy. Desko, you won't be able to stop torn Desko until you discover the answer for yourself. Desco knows that, but... Don't worry, I know you can do it, Desco. You care more about Fuka than anyone. Martina, Desco still has no idea. Then fight, Desco! Fight and find the answer! As a final boss! Fight? Okay, Desco will fight! Didn't we already beat him up twice this chapter? So, once again, Axel will get beaten up. It's his destiny. He was born under a hopeless star. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty funny. Don't even know. The world does not even know. Help! Alright, moving on. Stage 3. Axel's Determination.
So, you're finally here. I'm not letting you guys get through. One of these archers is not like the others. <laughs> What kind of reasons could he possibly have? I'm 100% certain that his reasons are frivolous. Or maybe he's just a family man and he wants to see Fuka and Desco stay together. Come and get me! You must somehow miraculously defeat me if you want to see what's up ahead. Okay. Bang! Wish granted. But we've beaten you a bunch of times before. Shut up! You big sits! Show me your determination and commitment! Desco will fight too! Desco will annihilate Axel and discover the answer! Oh hey, it's the Axel song. Everybody is standing on panels. Got it. So, let's smash the panels. Where's Fuka? Oh, yeah, we're not using Fuka. has almost hit the level cap. That's pretty nice. <laughs> oh, they're teacups. I thought they were cakes for some reason. Yeah, I guess they are teacups. Uh, probably from the Chapter 5 assets. And, you know, leave it to a, to a game developer to <laughs> spot asset reuse. Necromancers are pretty interesting in that regard, in that it takes at minimum two hits to kill them. But if you're being one shot by anything in Disgaea, you're probably doing something wrong. Or fighting a super boss, but you know. July 5th, and Octopath Traveler is coming out in like a week, uh, followed by Flicker Heroes 2 the very next day. Oh no, somebody summoned Sephiroth. <laughs> Not that it matters for Rutil. She's pretty great.
Stadium is very, very close to the level cap. I mean, not that it matters. With, uh, with our setup, we can just kind of uh, reincarnate anybody that hits the level cap and keep right on grinding. Statisticians really are the best thing. And we got one left. Um, Gingerbread, that's gonna be for you. Bonk. And I got a couple new items from that, that's nice. So you're serious about stopping Lady Torndesco? Of course. Not even this awesome Big Sis Loveland can change my mind. Big Sis Loveland symbolizes Lady Torndesco's love for you. Can't you at least see that? I do. And I love Desco more than anyone. The same goes for Torndesco, too. Wow, she actually said she loves Desco. She really has matured a little bit. Oh, big sis. Then why won't you accept this? You're gonna forget everything when you reincarnate. Everything, including all the time you've spent with Desco. Must you still choose to reincarnate, big sis? Yeah. I mean, the way he's saying it, it almost sounds like Axel wants Fuka to be his sister. Stop Lady Torndesco. She's a poor little sister who went out of control because she didn't know what to do with her abundant love for you. Big Sis, please stop her with all the love you've got. It's the only thing that'll stop her. Axel, you... <laughs> well, I, too, have younger siblings that I love. I couldn't just ignore her. Oh, is that right? So Torndesco didn't just beat you up and force you to become her slave. This can't be. I can't believe this idiot actually has a legitimate reason for his actions. You know, maybe I take back what I said about this episode. This is a good episode. Maybe. Is it just me, or does Axel look kind of cool right now? He does. He's an idiot who's trying his hardest to keep a family together. He's a kind-hearted idiot with lots of love for his siblings. Oh, come on! Just stop calling me an idiot! <laughs> Whatever. Lady Torndesco is just up ahead. Let me come along, too. He looks a little manlier than usual. Even that idiot Axel cares about someone so much that he would sacrifice himself. Thanks to Axel, Desco thinks she has found her answer. What Desco is supposed to do for Big Sis is... <laughs> Stop trying to make this about you, Axel. So yeah, that was an episode, and next time on the Fuka and Desco show, we are going to uh, see what the answer Desco has found turns out to be. I hope to see you all then. Bye-bye for now.